Hey, it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com. Thanks for joining this short video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to check out each template's mobile view so you get a sense of how it works and how it looks like when it's compressed into a smartphone. And after that, I'm going to show you a trick of resizing the screen to flex the responsiveness of the template so you know exactly how it's going to look on screens of different sizes. Because nowadays, there are so many sizes for different mobile screens. There's different Android sizes, there's the iPhones, and there's the Samsung songs and, and so many different smartphones coming out so understanding how the responsiveness of the Squarespace templates work will give you comfort that your viewers and visitors are gonna get an excellent website experience so I'm here on a page where there's a bunch of Squarespace templates I'm just gonna randomly pick one say the Avenue template so I'm gonna click into it what the first thing you're gonna see is how it looks like on a desktop and how it looks like on a mobile view so when you hover your mouse over this, just click on the mobile view and right away you can start playing around with it like this. So you can get a sense of what the menu looks like and you can click around and get a feel of what the website looks like and what seems to be an iPhone. So this tool is actually pretty neat. One of the questions that I said before is what if you don't have an iPhone? Well, what if some of your visitors don't have an iPhone? What if they're using one of the many different devices such as an iPad mini, an iPad, Samsung's, HTC's, whatnot. So here's a little trick on what I would do. Let's come back to Avenue and I'm going to click on Live Preview and I'm going to click on the demo site. So the actual demo site is fired up. As you can see, this is how you would typically see it on a widescreen. So I'm just going to pull out this browser here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting my mouse cursor over the corner, lower corner of the screen okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start enlarging it and shrinking it so you can see how responsiveness works if the screen is smaller the website responds by shrinking the content so this can be for example a, a Samsung which has a wider screen this can be for example an iPhone or it can turn into a tablet of some sort Maybe it's a smaller one like this, or maybe it's, it's a wider one like that. So you can play around with this, and it's going to give you a level of comfort that you're going to know that your viewers are going to get a very good experience when they're visiting your website. Let's just quickly look at another example of how that works. I'm just going to go back to all the designs, and let's pick a, another theme. Let's go with this one here. So this theme is called Flatiron. And I'm going to click on Live Preview and just enter the site. Once again, I'm going to separate this browser from the other one. And let's take a look at how it looks like in the full screen. Okay, so you see a series of different images right here. Okay, three, three images across the row. So when I start shrinking it, let's take a look at how it's going to work. Now, to, now it's down to one image, okay? And let's shrink it a little bit more and the images completely responds to the size of your screen so there's just one little tip that you can use to try out these Squarespace templates and all of them are responsive and they'll give you an excellent experience when you're surfing them so this is a little tip and hopefully you found helpful once again it's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com hope you found it useful